Now that your timer is connected to the internet we, and you've given it your zip code, your postal code, you begin setting up the timer for watering. So you can begin by giving your timer a name. Then it will prompt you. The new features in the app and the timer have the ability to send you notifications when a rain delay is set or watering is complete. So we're going to opt in for that and say yes. Next, we'll decide or choose which zones are going to be active on the timer. We'll go ahead with the uh, first three for now. Say next. So now we're going to enter the zone testing phase. As we go through each zone, it will run a program for one minute just to make sure that everything's working. So zone one has begun watering. Once we see that everything's good, say stop and next. Can zone that, you can name that zone. And if you want, you can take a picture of the zone. So now you don't have to remember by name, you can just look by picture, pretty handy. So then we can go through the rest of the zones. Zone two is now watering. We'll just skip through. Zone three is gonna water. That worked. Now the zones are basically set up. Now we get to decide which way we wanna water. We're gonna choose smart this time. We'll go through some basic smart setup. So each zone has its own smart settings. You can come in, select the soil type. If you don't know, you can say unknown. Clay loam is pretty common here. Plant type, we have cold turf, sprinklers, sun shade. If there's any shade at all, it's partial. We'll say it's full shade. Set the slope if you live on a hill. And you can tell it how many sprinklers are in the zone. And you're basically set up. If you have catch cups, we have a video. You can see, click the link below to watch how to go through the catch cup testing. And you can go through the rest of the zone, set those up. We'll just enable them for now. Default settings. The next setting with SMART is watering restrictions. If you have restrictions in your area, you can enable this. I can hit it. You can set a time for which you don't want it to water. So you can say between 10 a.m., for example, and you can pick days of the week that it should or should not water on. So you can say if you, if you can't water on Mondays or Thursdays for some reason, or you can say water only on even days or water only on odd days. Say next. And that's it. Now your timer is set up for smart watering.